a little bit late to the game on this from 2017 is The Ritual streaming on Netflix. This is a horror film about a group of friends who goes backpacking out in the wilderness and unfortunately, I say this about everything because you could you could easily just sum up most synopsis of any kind of a drama or a thriller or a horror film. Things don't go quite as they planned. I'll get into it a little bit more than that. So the film opens with a bunch of old friends in England and they're out for night drinking and one of the friends wants to go and get a little bit more from a liquor store. There's a robbery and one of the friends gets killed. See, I'm not giving it away because I'm not telling you which friend. And that weighs heavily that he did not do something to prevent that death. The, dis the guys all decide to go on this backpacking trip because that's what the deceased friend wanted to do for their next, you know, lad's getaway. And they do that. And as it goes, the guilt of the death of, of the uh, friend that dies weighs on the guy who did nothing. And they decide to go off the trail. Never get off the boat. It, they go off the trail to take a shortcut and they start finding weird things in the woods. Weird Blair Witchy kind of symbols and artifacts and why is that deer or elk or whatever it is hung up in the tree, splayed wide open and still dripping? This is pretty fresh. What's going on here? I don't know. It's raining hard. Let's stay in that weird, creepy old cabin. It just gets worse and worse for this guys, these guys as it goes along. It's almost like Deliverance, but with a serious semi-supernatural horror aspect to it. It's beautifully shot. Uh, everybody in it's quite good. And uh, it's nothing like wildly unusual. It feels like a lot of other movies, but it was good. I, I had a good time with this. And when you get to the big evil thing that is the source of evil in the film, it doesn't, for the longest time, the film takes its time showing it to you which I appreciate because when we're dealing with things now, any giant horrific thing is going to be CGI and it's going to look fake. It's going to look fake. CGI still looks fake 99% of the time. But if you can just show parts of it or obscure it in some way, like the old monster movies used to, it it works a lot better. So uh, I, did, I won't say the, the ritual is like the greatest thing I've ever seen, but it was a nice surprise. In, there's a sea of mediocre horror movies out there in general, it's one of, we horror fans will watch a hundred bad horror movies to get to that one that really works for us and gives us that little, that little thrill we like. And that thrill will keep us watching the next hundred ones that aren't that great. So when I watched something sight unseen that was sort of went straight to streaming that's horror, the expectations are usually rock bottom because they're usually not very good. The ritual was quite good. It was really well made. This, this was well made to the degree that I don't know if this did play in theaters anywhere, overseas perhaps. This is like overseas quality, overseas quality, theatrical quality on the screen, acting and production wise. And uh, it reminded me of The Descent, actually. I had said when we were watching it, I'm like, this is The Descent, but above ground and guys. Because The Descent, which I love, was, um, you know, if you've never seen The Descent, uh, The Descent was, you know, underground caves, all female cast. This is sort of the opposite of that in many ways. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but uh, if you were willing to watch, if you're a hiker, this would probably make you not want to go in the woods again. If you're not a hiker, this will make you still be not a hiker. Uh, available streaming on Netflix. Don't go, don't get off the trail is the ritual. 